good afternoon check out my beautiful new planting box i wanted a, a planter for here at the back of the allotment because i've tried to plant in this soil in the past and it's very poor and i've tried to improve it and it hasn't worked anyway so i asked kenny to build us this planter and he did it the other day knocked it together and i'm absolutely delighted with it with this i'm going to put a couple of squash in them and i'm going to try and train them up this fence which should be quite quite good and i think it's a big enough size for two squash it's quite a big area to fill i've got compost in one of my compost bins i hope it's ready it's really i would have liked to leave it a bit longer to compost a bit more but um i'm going to chance it and put it in but first because it's such a deep trough i'm going to put uh, some logs in, some sticks in, and some grass cuttings. It's uh, what's called as the Hugel culture method. You can make a bed, fill it with any kind of organic matter, and it'll slowly rot down. Uh, in a cold climate, the advantage of that is it'll heat your border up. As the organic matter decomposes, the soil will be heated up from underneath. Also, the nutrition from this organic matter um, decomposing will go into the soil uh, truth be told that's not really why i'm doing this i'm just doing it because it's going to be easier to fill if we do do that um and as successive years go by as this stuff rots down i mean stuff like that it's going to take a long time as it rots down um you need to keep topping it up with more um soil or compost because it'll keep going down so we're going to crack on and do that and put the bigger bits in first and then carry on with smaller bits There's a um, big pile of grass cuttings on the field out the front there. It's council fields and they mow them all the time and they just pile the grass cuttings in this one particular spot. So Kenny's going to go across there and get a barrel load or two of uh, grass cuttings and that'll go on as well.
pump that down a bit. I think it might be too much. Yeah, it might be. It's rather a lot, isn't it? It is. It's too much. Should tip it, toss it in the compost instead, do you think? Yes, yeah, too much. Right, I'll take some out and we'll put it in the compost instead. It will go wrong. There's still some gaps under there, you know, that aren't full. So we kind of overestimated how much grass we were going to need. Kenny's taken some out and we've uh, riddled that down amongst all the sticks. I reckon that's probably about enough. And the rest he's going to put on the compost heap, which is an added bonus um, for the compost. Right. Um. Pick it up, I think so. You can the, the the grass has got a really strong fermenting smell to it because it uh, all compacts down in the big heap that will pick it up from and um yeah it's just fermented grass. Pickled Excellent, so that's a lovely top up for me. Ongoing compost, which, as I say, is a big bonus. That's a funny thing, you know, like, it was about two weeks ago when we put all that stuff out of the pond, it was right up there. Yeah. And then it's gone right, we've put more stuff in it since then, and now we're putting that in. It just keeps going down. It just down. keeps going down at a really rapid rate. I keep filling it right at the top and think, right, that's it, I'm closing up that compost now. Just going to let that go to work and um, not put anything more on it. But then every time you come, it's gone right down. I can't resist topping it up again. But really, maybe that should be it this time. <laughs> well, because we're going to empty the next compost completely so we can start a completely new one there. That's the plan. That should be the plan. So this is the last of the compost that I made last year. I was a bit worried it wasn't going to be quite ready because the bits on the top look quite big. But actually when I dig under, it's pretty nice. So that'll be absolutely fine. It'll be beautiful in fact for these squash. Loads of nasturtiums just growing out the top, which is quite funny. Anyway, Kenny's going to dig it out and pop it into the trough because I've done me back in. I didn't do a dig potatoes or anything like that. I bent over to pick a glass of wine up off the floor. Absolutely classic. And my back's done in. So these are the two squash that I'm going to put in the uh, trough. They're Uchigikuri, that's the variety. I've grown them for the past two years and um, I really like them. They're quite a small, bright orange, kind of nutty flavoured um, squash. Really, they freeze well and I've just used the last of what I grew last year, not long ago. Uh, yeah, so they're going in now. Nice, healthy plants. I'm happy with them.
So two squash in this might not seem very much, but believe me, they grow massive. They just sprawl everywhere and take up a huge amount of space. That's partly why I'm going to try and train them up the fence, um, just to try and keep them out of the way a bit. I mean, if you've got the space, it's lovely to have them sprawling around on the ground, but as you know, our allotment isn't very big and we're always short on space. Um, so I figure train, train them up. And I'm really happy with this compost, it's beautiful. If these plants don't rock it up, I'd be amazed. Oh, there's a snail, but I think it's just an empty shell. I'll just chuck it over there just in case it's not. So got crown prince um, squash ready to go out at home um, but these are the only two I'm going to manage to fit in at the allotment I've got a space at home for the other squash Let's try and get that to go that way a bit Plastic. Honestly, gets everywhere. So you go. It's a nice, healthy plant. It's got lovely roots. Definitely ready to be planted on the next stage. I'm just angling that back towards the fence, and hopefully that will make it easier to uh, get it trained up onto there when the time comes. Obviously, I can't do that at the minute because they're just not big enough. But honestly, I think in a week, they'll be up there. And I might, just for good measure, pop an nasturtium in the middle. Just to make it look pretty. So the whole allotments are absolutely full of self-seeded nasturtiums. They're everywhere. So I'm just digging them up as I need them for pots and baskets. It's quite handy, really. Although they don't seem to like being transplanted very much, they do wilt right down. They go up that way and this can come out the front way, it'll look nice. Ta da! So again, these are some some of the nasturtiums that were transplanted from elsewhere. Uh, just yesterday, we cobbled these baskets together. These uh, outer bits were really ready for the bin from home, but Kenny couldn't throw them out. So we came up here and I just found some um, marigolds and some nasturtiums and I had a couple of little fuchsias, put them in. But they are really struggling and wilting, but I think they'll be all right. But, uh, yeah, it just took us 10 minutes to put together these for a couple of little bits of extra show for the allotment. Some nice decorative touches. It's quite nice to have. with that it's really maximizing our space at the allotment as much as we can got to grow vertically that's what they all say about maximizing your space uh, i think it looks great as well these were just old bits of wood that someone from one of the other allotments was um, getting rid of and uh, i think it's a pretty handsome 
What do you call it? Construction. Planter? Box. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I like it. I'm delighted with the compost in it. Anyway, that's all for today. See you next time. Bye.